Okay, in this video, we are going to take a look at a little skill set that, interestingly enough, Tinkercad doesn't give us the uh, easy ability to perform uh, as of the time of this recording. So, I want to just kind of give you a look at these two shapes that we have here and um, uh, kind of discuss what's going on with them, and then we're going to try and duplicate them. So, what I have here is what we call a rounded rectangle, if you will, a rounded rectangle. Um, we have the ability to create a box. All right, we can create a box. And you'll notice that the difference between the box and this rounded rectangle is the, the edges, right? These are square edges, they have a right angle. And um, there's really no way to fix that nicely. So you can see I can put a radius on that and it, uh, it kind of kind of rounds everything off, but not very uniformly. So there's really no way to kind of round that off nicely. Um, and this one, the same. Like, it's a little smaller, but uh, you know can't do that. So um, you could look through here and you could try and find something. You've got this this tool right here, which is the rounded roof, and it kind of comes close to that rounding off effect. We can actually use that later on to get this effect. So what we want to do is want to look at a way to get these rounded edges. How do we get them? So the first thing I want you to notice is that in the rounding, we have kind of what appears to be somewhat of a, maybe like a cylinder in here, right? A cylinder in here. All right, so that's what we're going to take a look at. We're going to take a look at using cylinders here. All right, now get that cap lock key off. All right, so let's, what we want to do is we want to create a hole that we can take away from this rectangle here. And in order to do that, we need to um, kind of use a couple different things. So we're going to first start by taking a cylinder here. And I'm going to increase the number of sides as high as that can go. I like that to be as smooth as it possibly could be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to determine like what size of a round off do we want? What do we want that to look like? So 20 is a bit large here. Um, so let's go with something like um, 10. Let's do a radius of 10. All right, so 10 and 10. It's actually a radius of 5 since the width is 10. All right. And let's bring out a box at the same time. Let's just kind of resize that. Let's go down to 10 here. And let's make this 20 by 40 the other way. All right, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to round this. And let's make that a little bit smaller. Instead of 10, let's go with 5. There we go. All right. Now, what we could do is we could take this cylinder here and we can align it with this box. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to use my align tool and I'm going to use these two circles here to get it on the bottom left hand side. Okay. Now, if I bring this down, you'll notice that I'm going to cut off this little piece, right? I'm going to cut off that little piece. That's what I want. I want to get this little piece here that can help me um, create a hole, excuse me there, that I can add to this. So let me just show you here. If I made that a hole, right? If I had that hole there, what that would do is that would cut off the side of a rectangle. All right, so I've got to figure out how to get that. All right, so we're going to make that a solid again. Let's make this a hole. Okay, and I'm going to group these two together just to kind of get you to see here. See this little piece that's left off right here? That is what we're looking for. I want to get this little chunk here, but I want to get it as a whole so that I can use it on the rest of my rectangles. All right. Now, how do I get rid of the rest of this? Well, let's go back here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to oversize this ever so much. So I'm going to make this instead of 10 by 10, I'm going to make it 10.1 and 10.1. What I'm looking for is to get 
pretty much the same thing, but I want to get this to overlap the box a little bit so that it can clearly get um, a distinguished section here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna align this one more time, made it a little bit oversized. Align this one more time, down there, there we go. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to change my snap grid setting. So here it's one millimeter. I'm gonna change that to about 0.1 millimeter. All right, and then I'm gonna use my arrow keys. I'm gonna move this down one and to the left one. And what that will do is it will inch it a little bit closer to that little section there. All right, and then I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to group them together. And there we can see there's that little chunk that I want and it's got some separation in there. That's gonna help me um, isolate that part. So now I'm gonna grab another hole here. All right, and let's bring that down here. Got that magnet tool going on there. Let's bring that down. Doesn't matter how far, as long as it goes through the whole shape. All right, and then we're gonna group those two together. Okay, so you can see the top part's gone. And now I'm gonna bring this one in, and I'm gonna get it right over that other section. Drag it out. Now I'm gonna group these two. And there we go, there. Now I have that nice little section. Right? And then what I can do is I can turn that into a hole. All right. Now what I can do is I can duplicate that a few times. So I'm going to duplicate that once. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it over. And duplicate it again and duplicate it again. All right. That duplicate tool is really helpful if you... Um, do it in that order. Okay, so there we have our four corners. Now what I can do is I can drag out a rectangle or a box of any size. All right, let's make that, make it a little bit bigger just so I can show you there. All right, and then what we'll do is we will take each one of these and we'll align it with the rectangle, all right, the box. So I'm gonna select those two. I'm going to click the align tool, then I'm going to click the rectangle. By doing that, it's going to make the rectangle not move, which is exactly what I want. And then I'm going to align that little uh, hole right there. Now you can see I can barely see the hole. The hole is a little bit shorter than the box. So before I'm going to actually undo that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. All right, let's make it that big, and that's nice. All right, and I should probably do that for all of them. So let's see, that's, we can just make it 10. It's not really gonna matter, I just wanna make sure that it's bigger than my other one. All right, let's make that 10. Now you could have just done this to the one and duplicated them all, but since I went through the work of already duplicating them, I'm just gonna leave it like that. There we go. All right, there we go. That's much better. Now what I can do is I can click this one, click this one, we're gonna to go to align. I'm gonna click the rectangle to keep that fixed and then I'm gonna use these two to get that on the bottom left edge. It was already on the bottom just because of the way I positioned that. And now what I'll do is I'll just drag this down a little bit and if I group these two together, you'll notice that rounds off the edge of my box, which is really nice. All right, if I do the same thing with these two, we're gonna align them click the rectangle. This time I'm going to use the top one and this one here. That'll get that right in that edge. Okay, bring that down a little bit, group them. And there we go, there's that rounded. And then we'll quickly do these two. Align, click the rectangle. We're going to use the bottom one and then we're going to use this one. Okay, because we want it in the left edge or the right edge rather. We're going to select those, group them together. And then <clears throat> what I probably do is make sure that I have a duplicate saved, right? You don't have to constantly create this. So what I would probably do is just kind of uh, create a couple of these and keep them in one of my uh, Tinkercad projects. That way I can copy and paste them whenever I need them. But I would never use the last one. I'm just going to duplicate the last one just so I have it for duplication purposes. All right, and then I want to align this one. This time I'm going to use this one for the right edge and this one for the top edge. Then we'll drag this down a little bit. 
select these two and there we go and now that is a nice rounded box and again um, depending on how how um, sharp you want this corner you can make bigger ones or smaller ones um, to kind of give you the same type of effect all right so that looks pretty good and then obviously when you are done you can make that as big or as small as you want now it's something like this let's get this over here this one's a little bit different I'm gonna actually rotate this a little bit out this one you take a look it's the same type of thing you can certainly get this effect by doing the same type of thing but one of the things I notice here is the end looks like it's like a cylinder in and of itself and this end is a cylinder in and of itself and then there's uh, maybe some connection in between the two so let's see if we can duplicate that so first thing I'm gonna do is create a cylinder and I'm gonna increase the sides all the way up Then I'm gonna shrink this down let's make this five by five all right, something like that and let's bring this down we're gonna make this let's just make that five for now okay so I have kind of what looks like the edge of that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm just gonna hold down uh, my arrow key and bring that across all right or uh, hold down my control key and let's drag that or my shift key rather shift holding down shift will make sure that I don't move it up and down unless I really go far alright I can't accidentally move that over okay so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the middle with a box alright so we're gonna drag that box in here now I know the dimensions of the cylinder I made it five by five so we're gonna make this five <clears throat> and I'm gonna make the height five the, the tricky part is like knowing how to get that aligned appropriately and there's actually a couple tricks that you can use the the one trick I want to show you uh, today with this one is the ruler tool alright so if we take the ruler tool okay you may not have seen that what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drop that right there and the ruler tool gives me some information about my shapes and where they are okay so the circle here you can see um, there are the cylinder rather its dimensions are 5 and 5 and then you see this 0 0.02 that means it's 0 0.02 away from that little origin point that I made on my ruler so if I change that to 0 that's gonna put that at the bottom and then this one is 0 0.03 away so I'm gonna change that to 0 and what that will do is it make it nice and snug against the uh, origin there and the reason I'm gonna do that is because now I can mathematically position this box based on the position of this so for example I know that the cylinder is five right so what I want to do is I want to get the box like right centered in the halfway part of the cylinder right so if I know that the cylinder is five then I know that halfway through is 2.5 so now what I can do is I can take the box I can make sure that it's all the way down so I'm gonna change a 0 to uh, that 0 0.1 to 0 so that brings it all the way down so now it's level with the cylinder and now I'm gonna make sure that it's point, uh, 2.5 over right now it's 2.4 so I eyeballed it pretty good but now I wanna make sure it's exact 2.5 so that's really cool right there alright and then I'm gonna do now the same thing with this cylinder now this cylinder is 5 by 5 it's up at 0 0.2 it's 0 0.2 off so I'm gonna change that to 0 that brings it down and then it's 25.4 away so I need to do some math here to figure out how far away this should be so this whole thing is 20 and it's 2.5 away right so what I want is I want this one to be kind of halfway in between the edge the right edge of the box right so we got to do a little bit of math so the right edge is 20 right plus 2.5 away so it's 22.5 I want to be off of that half the cylinder now half the cylinder is 2.5 right so really I want this to be 20 away so I'm gonna change this to 20 alright and that should put that right there on the edge okay and now what we can do is we can select all of these things we could group them together and then I get that similar shape that I had before a little bit longer but you can see there it's a very similar shape 
All right. So using the ruler tool is pretty convenient for stuff like that. When you need to align things beautifully like that, um, then you can just get rid of it and then it's gone. Um, so that's just another way to go ahead and round some rectangles. All right, so hopefully that's a skill that you could use. It's a little bit laborious. Uh, it would be great if Tinkercad provided us with the ability to just kind of round those off. Maybe it will someday. Um, for some reason, at this point, it still hasn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe you can find a generator online that will do that. But uh, that will also help you. Um, Instead of using cylinders, you could have also used this kind of uh, open, what is it called, open roof, I think, round roof. Um, you could use that shape as well if you want. You could just rotate this around a little bit, um, rotate that the one way. You could also rotate this the next way, all right? And then you've got kind of half the shape that you're looking for, right? So if I wanted to just bring this up to zero and I could size this to... This is 10 right now if I made it 2.5, which is what my cylinder was before. Make that 2.5. Actually, I need to make that 5. All right. That's kind of what I had before. Then you can duplicate that, rotate it around a little bit, and then put that there. All right. Then you can put a box in the middle. So let's do that. Make that 5, leave that at 20. Let's see, how big are these? These are 13. Let's make them 10, make it a little bit bigger. doesn't really matter. You can stretch it out when you're done. I just want to make sure that they're all the same size to begin with. All right. And then you can actually use this magnet tool, which is kind of cool. This might be a little bit more helpful. If I grab this... Um, rounded roof here and I grab this magnet tool, this cruise tool, uh, what I can do is I can select this little uh, dot here and then I can move it and try and get it snug on the edge of that box. All right? See how I did that? You can do the same thing here. Grab that cruise tool, little magnet, get it right on there. Okay, and then you can see that it's kind of like right on the edge. Problem is it's not aligned very well, so we can fix that by just selecting both of them, aligning them. We'll align this at this edge and this edge. Oh, see how that doesn't work? I've got to be careful there. Let's do that again. Let's align these. All right, let's keep the rectangle uh, fixed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to not align them on the right edge. I don't want this to move in. I just want this to move down. So I'm going to click this one and that should move it down. And then I need to make sure that the tops are aligned. They're not right now. So I'm going to uh, select one of these. This one's gonna select them, align them at the bottom. Really all of them would have worked because they're the same size. And now you can see that that's perfectly aligned. All right, I can do the same thing with this one and this one. So I'll select both. I'm gonna make sure the rectangle is fixed. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that we are um, aligned properly up and down. So again, it doesn't matter which of these I select since they're the same height. And then I want to make sure that it is as uh, far over here as possible. So I'm going to use this one. I could actually use all three since they're the same size as well. All right, and that should be nice and perfect. Then I can select all of them and group them together. And then I get that nice shape that I was looking for before. All right, so that's how to go about doing that using that tool. That actually might be a little bit easier. I don't know. Whatever you find easiest is definitely the way to go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe that will be uh, something that you need down the road.